Hey, good afternoon, everyone. It is Friday, May 15, and we've got a spicy modern deck dump today. It was a smallish one, only 50 decks, which is a little small for modern, but wow, was there some crazy stuff in here. Um, 32 companion decks, which actually is a little low. That's 64%. That's a little lower than what we've been seeing typically in modern, um, but wow, was there some spice. Uh, for example, there were three different Lutri control decks, and we're going to look at all three of them. Um, all of the typical hits showed up. Probably the highest ranked exception is Euroza. There was not a Euroza deck in this build. And uh, this, the control decks were kind of in a different pattern than usual. Also, uh, Grixis Delver did not show up. And that's a deck that's been appearing a bit lately. But uh, let's take a look at the highlights here. I want to start off here with Currivor. This is an interesting Yorion deck. Very heavy on the blink aspect. Four copies each of Wall of Omens, Vincer, and Restoration Angel. And then some really good blink targets in Night of Autumn and Icefang Quaddle. So, quite an interesting little build here. Uh... It's a Bant Blink deck, I guess is the best way to describe it. It's not using Soul Herder, so it's it's doing its blinking the hard way, and it's not using um, Ephemerate either. So a little more old school on how it's going about the blinks, but looks kind of effective. I do like the idea of blinking Spreading Seas. That, that seems like a good idea to me. All right, next on the list, Key to Life with... Oh, I wanted to bring up... There's a couple of Kiki Chord lists. Another five color elementals. Did not use Kahira, which I've seen in the past because it wanted the Aether Vials. And I think that might be pretty important to the list. Uh, Humans deck here, not running Gigantha. And the main reason why it's not running Gigantha is lost to me because I don't see a card in here that is not castable with it. So you could easily take this build and run Gigantha. Uh, where, let's see, um, Mash Malofsky's back with this contraption of a Gyruda um, primetime deck that also has some other hits such as Kozilek and Jin Kataxius and Platinum Empyrean, and Frost Titan. They're just basically pick your nasty, even-colored uh, ETB targets, and you've probably you could probably fit it in here. I've seen other decks running Ashen Rider um, in a Garuda deck, and I think that would be kind of a good one as well. So uh, yeah, and let's see. Tangrams, Gung. There's a Bogle's deck. Uh, Ley lines on the side. Here is that um, Boros uh, Hammer deck. For lack of anything better to call it, it's basically a Colossus Hammer combo deck with the Ink, Mo Ink, Mox ne Ink Moth Nexus. Uh, Shock Trooper here with Goblins. Here's Key to Life. Uh, smallpox. Uh, Mardu Smallpox. An interesting little lure space build. Uh, basically trying to win the resource battle and keep you out of resources. Uh, Grandpa's Finest down here with one of the Lutri decks. This one was the uh, blue-white version. The three Lutri decks were all control decks. One was blue-white control, one was Jeskai, one was Grixis. And if you're a control player and you're interested in this kind of thing, um, I would compare the builds and see where they differ. The thing that I will bring up as being common, common among all of them is Jace the Mind Sculptor, Narset Parter of Veils, Snapcaster Mage, Cryptic Command, and Mystic Sanctuary. And a full four of the Mystic Sanctuaries. 
Uh, those were common across all the decks. Uh, there may have been other cards as well, but those are the ones that I noticed right off as being uh, important to these uh, strategies. This was the only one that ran Lutri in the main as well. So, uh, definitely a, a pattern to be watching for. Baka Gaijin, 34, here with... Uh, this is one of the other Lutri decks, uh, if I recall. Yes, this is the Grixis one. So, uh, worth looking to see. Um, what you'll see in the Jeskai and the Grixis ones is Bone Crusher Giant, Brazen Borrower, and both as well. And I believe Royal Scions. So, another uh, interesting little control thing, if that's your if that's your bag. Metcalf twenty three. Down here with, I've seen this a couple of times now. This is red white hate bears basically. Uh, it's splashing red for Seal of Fire and Dire Fleet Daredevil. Everything else in the deck is red or colorless. Uh, you do have some interesting sideboard choices like Boil, Goblin Crater Maker. Um, but yeah, this is this is a red white hate bears list. Smuggler's Copter to. Uh, kind of help close things out a little bit, give you a little reach. Dranith Magistrate to stop shenanigans. So, interesting, interesting deck. Uh, I've seen it a couple of times now. So, we'll see if it starts putting up some results. DGG Muffin had one I liked here. Okay, this is the Boros Ponza deck. Four Pillage, four Molten Rain, four Boom Bust, and a Johnny Vengeant. Um, and then it's trying to shut you off of resources, and then it's trying to cheat out Emrakul with Nahiri. Um, Mana Tithe, just in case you weren't resource stra stretched enough. Um, and Talisman of Conviction here is your red-white talisman. Interesting deck. Um, Boil, just in case that wasn't enough. But, uh, it's... If this is your bag, and there are people I know who who love land destruction strategies, um, here you go. This is this is a spicy number. Uh, RVNG down here had something I want to look at. This is this is so for lack of anything better, I'm just calling this black red aggro. Um, you could I guess call it black red black. Black Red Prowess, uh, because three of the four creatures in the deck have prowess. But it's an inter It's I've seen it starting to show up in the uh, fringes of the tournament results. Interesting little deck. Um, taking the red-based prowess shell and going Black's direction with the hand disruption and removal. Of course, it's using Luris for uh, resilience. So, it, it, I don't know. This this might be a thing. We'll watch and see where it goes. Uh, ZX Rogue. Down here with the other Lutri deck. This is the Jeskai one. Uh, just the three creatures. And a Time Warp on top of a bunch of other things. Inspired Ultimatum. Uh, it's not a finisher, but it certainly is going to, once you've gotten to that point, it's going to leap you ahead if you've, if you've stabilized at that point. And then a relatively large um, Planeswalker package. And then the final deck I want to look at is the last one in the list here, Watsi Coverage Damon A, with um, Demir Flash is basically what this deck is. Everything in the deck except for the Thought Seizes and the Nile Spellbomb is either an instant or has Flash. And it's basically a tempo control style deck uh, it would not surprise me at all if this deck won a game just on the back of Creeping Tar Pit but 
there's been smatterings of Demir based flash decks ever since Slither Wisp came out in Ikoria. So it'll be interesting to see if this sticks. Um, I know a couple of people who this is exactly their jam. So uh, take a look here, see if, if you like what you see. Uh, so that was the highlights today. I do recommend looking at, at the dump today. There's a lot of spicy stuff that and variants on things that I glossed over a little bit. Um, but, you know, if you want your combo goblins or your elementals or um, green-white stone blade was in here, um, definitely uh, take a look. Uh, that's about it for today. Thanks for hanging out. And I uh, hope you're enjoying what's happening here. If you do, do please hit like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you know when my next video is coming up. And that's it for the week. Have a good weekend. If you're playing in the Lotus Box Modern Tournament tomorrow, good luck. Uh, I will be watching when time allows. Uh, we are doing some spring cleaning this weekend, so I will be uh, watching when I can. So enjoy, stay safe, and we will talk to you on Monday. Bye-bye.